A little more than a month ago, Iowans went to the polls for a midterm election that brought national attention and potential presidential candidates to the state. Today, one party came one step closer to officially kicking off campaigns for the White House in 2016. CBS 2 News reporter Kevin Barry is here now with how Jeb Bush might have started the presidential campaign avalanche. Well, Jeb Bush hasn't even officially announced he'll run for president yet, but he is among the first big names to announce that he's figuring out if it would at least make sense. Some say it's a headline grab, others aren't all that surprised. But what we do know is that talk about 2016 is going to be awfully hard to shake off. Maybe it's a sign of the times and a hint of what's to come. But the news of the day showed up first on Twitter and Facebook. So it started uh, is pretty much what I thought. Jeb Bush, the former Florida governor, younger brother to Bush 43, son to Bush 41, says he's actively exploring a run for the White House. And what Bruce Nesmith at Coe College says might be more important, will start a pack and raise money. There clearly are candidates with resources and candidates without resources. And the candidates without resources, no matter how well they speak to your soul, are probably not viable candidates. Dollars translate into having organizations in almost all 50 states. And quickly, if a candidate can't do that, Tim Hagel at the University of Iowa says it'll be much harder to run. Well, we know from the last presidential election that it takes an awful lot of money and that's not going to change it's going to continue to get more and more expensive locally I think 2016 really will speak loudly for our nation Lynn County Republican chairperson Cindy Golding says she's keeping quiet I took a pledge before I was elected to treat every candidate the same to not take a public position uh, or endorse any one candidate. She says she represents all Republicans in the county, so supporting one candidate would disenfranchise people who back a different one. She says individuals are welcome to volunteer for whoever they like, but she'll wait until the people have spoken. Now, Democrats say this doesn't change a whole lot for them. The experts say they have plenty to get in order before their own primary. So Jeb Bush is actually very low on their list of priorities right now. Kevin Barry, CBS 2 News.